YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer. We are playing Rival Stars, which I don't record often because there's really not much to record. It's, it's, I still enjoy the game, but I'm kind of just grinding stuff and completing quests and races just because I know eventually they're going to continue to add more stuff to the game. But right now, it's still pretty. The replay value is just like you kind of just feel like you're in an autonomous mode where you're constantly doing the same thing and the same thing you know what i mean like i would love if they actually had special cups not just like the races with the special live events but actual stakes and cups and you know things and um they don't but maybe they'll put that into play eventually so we're gonna be racing on <clears throat> We'll give Triple Torpedo a shot, even though I don't think this horse is good for this distance, but we'll give it a shot. This is um, a 1600 meter uh, race in the live event. My grade two horses are much, or my level two horses, I should say, are much better than a lot of my other horses. I think I've actually gotten one of the stronger levels of a level two horse because <clears throat> I've won quite a few special live events. Uh, I've got a couple of first place trophies with my level twos. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> like I said, this is still a great game, but it does, it gets boring. I should say it gets boring very, very fast. Gallup Racer, you can play for hours. Um, Pocket Stables, I can play for a longer period of time. Horse Racing Manager, obviously, if you're still playing that, you can play that for a long time. This game, to me, you can only play for a long time when you're initially starting. But once you get really settled, like to where I'm at now, which is, I think, level 12, once you get to that point, I mean... All you're really doing is just trying to breed the best horses, right, um, to get the best stats and trying to get different colors and different type of horses. But that's really it. You know, you're not even really trying to do things on a competitive level because it just feels like it's just kind of it's just it's weird. Um, that's my only really criticism of this game. Hence why I don't really record any of it, because like I said, there's not much to really record. <clears throat> It's not much to do. I play this game just to kind of keep up with the maintenance, you know, of um, training my horses and getting them leveled up. But that's really about it. It just feels like there's really nothing that you're really aiming for. Like in Gallup Racer, you're aiming to basically win, you know, the World Cup, you know, the Dream Cup. You know, that's what you're aiming for. You're aiming to create lines and lines of awesome generations of horses. In this game, you just don't have that same dynamic. And I wish you did because visually it's such a beautiful game. And um, that's all they're really missing. That's like the only thing they're missing. Add a little bit of that realism, that dynamic, um, you know, structuring like Gallup Racer is and most horse racing games are. You add that to this game and it would be much better. Much better. Okay, we didn't do good with Triple Torpedo. Let's race with uh, Sensational Samurai because he actually has uh, the skill which is... 40% faster, stronger, 40% faster sprint charge, I should say. So we'll give it a shot. <clears throat> but yeah, that's the only thing. This game has gotten boring really quick, and I'm just doing my maintenance. That's pretty much it. I'm not like, oh, I'm so excited to play Rival Stars today. Like, I get like that every time I play Gallup Racer 2004, where I play Pocket Stables. I don't have that feeling anymore with this game. And like I said, it's such a shame, because look at this. I mean, aesthetically, it's the most beautiful out of all horse racing games made to this date this by far is the most uh, visually pleasing but like i said it's the actual structuring of i would say the competitive nature of the game and just kind of how the races are set up that is a little lackluster you know what i mean that's the only thing you know like there's no seasons there's no time it's just there's a new race every couple of days and that's really about it you know but it doesn't really feel like there's anything really special going on um, and I wish they would add that into the game. And I don't know if they ever will. I would like for them to do it. But they may keep the game where it's at. Um, though they have added different cosmetic stuff, of course. You know, as far as us finally being able to, you know, put blinkers and masks and different saddles and bridles on our horse. So, um, it's not to say that they may not make an update in the future where they make um, the structuring and the ranking uh, a little bit more dynamic as it is in most almost every other horse racing game I, I would love for them to do that i just don't know if people really want that because um it's a lot of casual people that play this game and i'm not sure if they're really into that as much as maybe someone like me 
and maybe some of you are you know what I mean um, I don't think anybody's really called for it I mean I, I check the Facebook regularly and I don't see any post about changing that for the most part I've seen it every blue moon but nothing to the point where it's like it's got a lot of traction most people are just like I want you know it to be easier to grind this I want it to be cheaper to get this I want to be able to you know have this with the breeding um, that's really about it though outside of that I haven't really seen much in regards to like I said the actual structuring of the races the cups the live events all that stuff so I don't think it's something that they consider on their uh, to-do list and we're tiring out it looks like we're not going to be able to uh, break our record here with Sensational Samurai. As you can see, I have four uh, first place wins, three second place, and two uh, third place. So I'm um, actually I'm doing pretty well in my live events. But like I said, it's really because of that level two course. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and race here. Um, and let's see, Majestic Beauty. Let's go ahead and race on Sensational or Tsunami Samurai. Excuse me. And let's see what we can do with this one. Just kind of want to get a video out. If anybody was wondering why I don't really upload this, it's just, it's not much to do. It's really not much to do, you know what I mean? That's kind of unfortunate, but we're going to give it a shot anyways, and good start. And um, what I'm trying to do is beat my record, which is 135 right now. I want to get, uh, obviously, higher than that. Um, that's really the only thing I set out to do for the live events. I mean, I want to rank as high as I can. That's about as, as competitive as it gets. Like racing the AI in the normal races, that those aren't even as enjoyable anymore because all you're getting is money and your horse levels up a little bit. You may occasionally get a decent item, but that's really it. You know, you don't have any real urgency to really win in those races. I don't really care to win in regular races against the AI that aren't live events. You know what I mean? I'm just like, okay, I need the XP. Okay, I need the money. Okay, I may need this item. That's really it. You know, it's not like, oh, I really want to win this race because it's the, it's the, um, you know, it's the Britannia of, the, like, I don't, like, that doesn't mean anything in this game. A Gallup Racer, you want to win, you know, the, um, the Louisville Derby. You know, you want to win, you know, the Osaka Mile. You know, you want to win those races, but that's not the case in here. You don't care about those races because they haven't made the game about the races like that. And that's the only problem. I don't want this to sound like I hate the game. I don't hate it at all. I'm so thankful that this game is actually out. And it's still, like I said, it's still a great game when it comes to just the overall presentation. But it's the actual competitiveness and the structuring that I think needs to be revamped. That's like literally it. Okay, 135. We're not going to beat our record, which is fine. So that's the story of today. Trying to beat our records, but not coming close. But we may actually go up 21. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, So, just to wrap this video up, I'm just going to go ahead and do one of these races, like I said. Here's a new one. Race 3. Like, the, they're so generic. It's just, it's a, it's, they have their individual names for the tracks, right? This is the Bill and Court. And then this one is the El Trueno. And then the greenish one is the Breaker Bay. And then this pretty one is the Pearl River. Like, the courses have names, or the tracks themselves have names, but the races are just race 1, 1,800 meters, race 2, 1,800 meters, race 3, 1,300 meters. It's just you can't even get excited about any of that. You know what I mean? And uh, we are not good with Android Beauty. How good are these horses? 134? I mean, that's not that much better than me. But I can understand. Uh, we're going to race in it anyways, because why not? We have nothing to lose, and this is going to be the last race in this video. Anyways. So that is my only real gripes with the game. Maybe they'll change it over time, like I said, make updates where they will change the races from being generic to actually having real meaning and importance, therefore getting us excited to actually participate in these races. We only do these races to level up our horses and to get money. We don't do these races for what they represent at all. That's the problem. Hopefully that makes sense. This is a long race. This is 30,000 meters. And uh, we're probably going to get passed up by most of these horses. Actually, we might be okay. We might be okay. We are almost in last place. Doesn't look like it's a field of 11 horses. This looks like 15, but... <laughs> yeah. 
we're fine. We're not going to win. We're probably not even going to place. I'm just going to kind of coast here. Actually, this race is really long. I might as well go up here. I don't know what I'm thinking. This is a really long race. Like, I can actually expend a lot of my stamina now and still be fine. Or my sprint energy. <laughs> like I said, aesthetically, this game is beautiful, man. It really is. I just wish there was more structure to the races, more importance to them, you know. And that's about it. So I'm going to shoot here to the front. And this is what I was talking about in one of my Gal Racer videos. I don't know if I uploaded it yet. But Rival Stars, you can literally just bump horses out of the way too. You know what I mean? You can just move horses out of the way if you want to get ahead. Every time I move, these horses move up. Stop doing that. Like, look, I can just push this horse out of the way. If this was Gal Racer, that would have been, watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> it really does sound like I'm really just, just coming down hard on the game. And I'm not. I'm just expressing... Things that I think could make the game a lot better for most people. I know some people only care about breeding and only care about getting different type of uh, horses, you know, with the um, the colors. But that's really it. Um, I still think I would hope maybe a number of people would still want things to be a little bit more competitive, and maybe they're just not really saying anything about it. But that's all I'm really voicing out. So we are. I mean, we're just kind of going and going and going and going. We go, they move, we go, they move. We push this horse out of the way. They push us out of the way. Like, every time I go, then they go. Like, stop that. Just stay where you're at, bro. <laughs> stay where you're at. Like, watch. Now they're going to go. Somebody's going to go. Wow, they actually kind of settled in that time. How ironic. Okay, I'm going to push up forgot how long this race was so I'm like I can use some of my sprint energy while I got the chance uh, I don't know how we're gonna do I hope I want this bar to catch back up to us good <clears throat> if we win today that would be crazy that would actually be a really crazy feat okay let's get going now let's get going now we might be able to win we might actually be able to win Oh, they're not gonna catch us, dude. Oh wait, no, they might. They have they they're faster than us. Nope, we're gonna win. Holy crap, we actually won that race. I don't know how. Those horses were way better than us. We get seventy five hundred for winning, and that's it. My this horse is maxed out anyway, so of course I know I wasn't getting XP. We get one excellent tack, but that's it. That's literally it. That's all there is. That's all there is. That's all she wrote. You have a chance to get another one. I'm not gonna watch that. And yep. That's pretty much it. That's literally all I pretty much do in Rival Stars. So that's going to do it for today. Even still, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Let me know if you kind of feel the same about Rival Stars or if you're actually like really, really enjoying the game, like 10 out of 10 enjoying it. Be honest. I want to know. Maybe it's just me that wishes things were different, but I feel like I, I can't be the only one who feels like that about the game. You kind of just feel like you're doing a lot of things just just kind of in a very autonomous way you know what i mean because that's just all you can really do i don't know let me know your thoughts comment section below appreciate you guys all the support on the channel as always you know dealio we'll be back with some more horse racing content very soon horse racing gamer sounds the next time we'll be a great and fantastic day see ya and goodbye